Hey guys, so I'm back today with another video. Yes, I am freshly bald. Um, no hair. Uh, if you checked out my hair vlogs, then you know the reason why. But that's not why we're here today. Today I'm here with you guys to share a story with you. This is my first story time. And this is the time where I got asked to be an escort. Um, I had watched Aaliyah J's video about her and the prostitution thing when, um, her cab driver was trying to get her to be a prostitute for her. If you haven't checked out her video, you should definitely should. She does great videos over there. I'm pretty sure you know who Aaliyah J is. I mean, she's freaking huge here on YouTube. But um, anyways, so let's get into the story. So for those of you who don't know, I work at Charlotte Roos. I got the job over the summer, like literally as soon as I came out of school for um, summer break. So <clears throat> I've been working there for a while. It had to be like... um probably like in the middle of June or whatever when this happened. So normally when I would go on break for work, I would go to, uh, what is that pretzel place called? Angie's? I think that's what it's called. If I were to A, I think. Anyways, I would go to the pretzel place all the time to go get me a lemonade and so get me a cinnamon pretzel and then I would just sit in the middle of the mall so my breaks were normally 15 minutes and I would run do that and come back and eat in the break room but just so happened this time I had a break that was a 45 so I went upstairs as normal got my um, lemonade got my pretzel and whatnot came downstairs but instead of sitting in the middle of the mall like I normally do which is right outside of Charlotte Roos I decided to sit in front of this pet store or whatever because it was kind of crowded over there and I'm just somebody like when I sit down and I'm trying to chill I like to be isolated from everybody so I was trying to sit somewhere where everybody else wasn't sitting but just my luck while I'm sitting there um, an Asian couple came down and sat down and then this guy who was on he had like wrist things right here I don't know the proper terminology for it but he needed those to be able to walk um, I believe what I thought at the time probably is I don't know but I thought he was with his wife and his son or his daughter I don't remember but I know there was like some teenager with them so they left him to sit down there I'm guessing because you know he can't walk uh, throughout the mall because he has little things and it's just the hassle trying to maneuver him throughout. So they left him there. They went up the escalator and went about their business. So um, I kept seeing him look at me before I even get into this. Um, he was a, a, a Caucasian male man. He was older. I would say he was at least... At least in his mid 50s about to push 60 I would say and I'm 21 <clears throat> or yeah yeah I'm 21 so anyways um, I saw him kept looking at me and I'm just like hmm you know smiling just trying to be friendly trying to be sweet not smiling like hmm come talk to me but just smiling like you looked at me made eye contact you know you make eye contact with strangers and you just you smile and you go on about your business so he like randomly was like so um I read this one thing in an article now I don't remember everything verbatim but I'm just going to talk about like along the lines of what he was saying but um he was randomly he was like I read something in an article it was crazy and I was like you know what is it and um he was like he read something about I don't remember what he exactly said but I know it's something about like how um this how nowadays like girls want to be escorts or he didn't say escort but he was like how girls are sleeping with men for money he was like i just think this is so crazy or something like that and i'm just like yeah that is crazy and he was like um asking me like what was my views on it like would i ever do it and i was like no i would never you know sleep around for money i was like i have a job i work here in the mall dumb ass rule number one don't ever tell a stranger where you work but my dumb ass said um no I would never do that I work here in the mall and he was like well how much do you make and I was like um I think I make like 838 or something like that I was like 838 and he was like uh no matter of fact I think he was like I I read about like a girl who who's who said she made like a thousand dollars or a hundred dollars a week or something like that by having sex with dudes and that's when he asked me would I do it but okay okay Okay, I'm going to get this story right. So, no, it went like this. 
He said, I read, some, I read something so crazy in the article the other day. And I'm like, you know, intrigued, like thinking it's really going to be something crazy. Like, what is it? And he was like, I read something about like how these girls can make like up to $100 every week um, just by having sex with men. So he asked me like, would I do it? And like I said, I said before, I was like, no, you know, I have a job and da 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 da. He was like, well, how much do you make? And I told him how much I made. And then he was like, well, just imagine, you know, you're in that store, you know, you're slaving for, you know, 50 bucks or so a week. And he was like, just imagine if you could just have sex, you know, with one guy. He was like, you know, no commitment. They can wow you. They can buy you anything you want. And you can make um, up to $100 a week. For one, $100 a week, that's a lot. And two, I make more than $100 a week at Charlotte Roos. Why in the hell does this man think that my self-worth is this little that I would really have sex with a man for $100 a week? I don't give a damn if a man paid me $10 million a week. I'm not having sex with some random stranger old guy just for money. Like, no. So anyways, I like he was like, um... This is when it started to get creepy and this is when I knew he was trying to recruit me to be an escort for him. He was like uh, asking me, he was like, you know, you're a very beautiful young lady. And I was like, you know, thanks. But I mean, I'm like, why is he telling me this? Then he's like, uh, do you have a boyfriend? My dumb ass. I should have said yes. But I was like, no, I don't. I'm single. And he was like, well, how old are you? And I was like, 21. And he was like, just think about it. He was like, um... He was like, you know, young boys, they don't know how to give it to you nowadays. He was like, young guys are all about pleasing themselves. He was like, but if you know you were with an older guy, he was like, older guys are all about pleasing a woman. He was like, trust me. He was like, I have this one woman that I slept with. For one, why are you telling me this? This is a stranger telling me about his sex life. Like, I don't care. This is when I knew, bing, this motherfucker is trying to lure me in not done though so he was like yeah he was like i had sex with this one girl he was like she cannot leave me alone she said i was the best she ever had he was like and the crazy thing is um she didn't do anything for me i just pleasured her he's like i'm all about pleasure and my lady he was like you know all my kids are in college and they don't live with me anymore he said i have a nice little condo he was like you know we could slip um he said, this is where he tried to lure me in. Why do some, see, I only thought it was people like dudes my age that think like alcohol or weed or something would lure you in. But clearly older men think that too. So he was like, you know, we can have us a nice um, glass of wine. And he was like, I don't know the proper word, way you say it, but he was like, basically, he gets prescribed marijuana. He was like, you know, we could smoke and get high and, you know, just have a great night. And he was like, and I could definitely, you know, pleasure you. What? And then he just kept saying, so, you know, what time do you get off tonight? I was like, oh, I'm not sure, you know, I don't remember what was on the schedule. I damn knew right what time I got off, but I wasn't about to tell his ass because that's creepy. And it made me really feel like his handicappedness was not real. I really felt like it was a way to lure somebody in or make them feel sorry for him or whatever. I don't feel like that's real. I, we live in a crazy ass world. So no, the shit wasn't real in my opinion. But um, I was like, I don't know what time I get off. And he was like, well, where do you work? And like I said, this time, I did not sit in front of Charlotte Roos. I sat in front of um, the pet store. So I was like, oh, I just work at a clothing store. But I was like, it's all the way on the other side. Um, not telling him where the fuck I work because that's so fucking weird. <clears throat> so I'm cursing. It's just that crap. It just got creepy. Like, that's so disgusting to me. Like, you're an older guy. Like hitting on me and then trying to tell me like I can come make money for you and you can please me better than these young guys and you know trying to lure me in with alcohol and drugs like does this really work on some girls and you know the sad thing is it probably does it probably does that's the sad thing about it and it's probably why he tried to do that to me because it's worked in his favor before but basically the way I ended up getting away from him, um, I lied and said that my break was over with and I ended up going upstairs and going into wet seal and I kind of like 
like shopped and browsed around in there for a little bit and then by the time I came back down he was gone um I was really paranoid when I got off work because I know people are crazy and you know I could have been been being watched for all I know but um yeah other than that I've never seen him again at the mall um I did definitely did not take his offer on some wine and some marijuana and wanting to be his escort I'm good I'm good so yeah that was my story of um the time that i got asked to be an escort for a man and it made me feel like but do i present myself that way but then i was like you know what jazz no nah. that man was just because i'm beautiful he just thought you know it was gonna work and he thought like i wasn't up for hard work but i'd rather do hard work any day I hope you guys enjoyed this story time and if you want more story times just thumbs up this video um I know a lot of you want me to say like my take on my horrible seventh grade year and if my mom didn't tell y'all in her video of my seventh grade year I did actually fail the seventh grade so if y'all want to know all about that and how she tricked me into thinking I failed like I really flunked the whole summer and then I came back to find out like I actually am in 8th grade. Um, I would definitely do that for you. Just thumbs up this video and comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.